Okay, hi everyone. I am in front of Ptolemy School and it's going to start raining now. And uh, yeah, so remember what happened yesterday? If you didn't see yesterday's video, you can click the link over there to see what happened yesterday. I'm still parked in the parking lot of our school. And yesterday, remember, I got a call from the nurse and the nurse said um, that she came to her and she was complaining of a sore throat and the nurse checked the temperature and she was fine. Well, so into the evening i did give her some pain relief medication like ibuprofen which is like a fever reducer and she did feel better but later on towards the night when all the stores are closed she started sniffling like sneezing and i know my daughter you know as a parent you know your child you know when your child is gonna get really really sick if you don't take care of it and nip it in the butt within one day if you know that comment below let me know so i um this morning i decided i took her to the store and we i got some medication for her some day call and i also so it was like a four-hour medication usually when my kids are going to school and i have to give them the medication then i look for 12 hour medication but the 12 hour medication that i saw was only for coughing and she didn't have cough so anyway long story short i gave her medication I took her, drove her to school this morning and now it's my lunch break and I came back to her school because four hours had gone through and I wanted the medicine to kind of lapse. So I gave her another dosage today. She didn't expect me to come. She was so shocked when this, they called her in the intercom said that, oh, yo, you need to come to the office. When she saw me, she was like, she just gave me this big warm hug like, wow, thank you, mom. Thank you, mom, that you did this for me. And I felt really happy. So that is the difference between you understanding what's going on with your child. So yesterday that I didn't go to her school, I kind of knew that she's fine because it was like nearly past lunch time and I knew she was fine. It's not that I didn't want to go to her school. It's just that I knew my child. I knew that it was fine. So just trying to explain that and clarify that part. So now I've given her medication. I give her some vitamin C, um, chewables or whatever and give her some more water because she finished that water so it's raining now and um i'm heading back home and yeah so usually i don't vlog during the week but i just want to let people know about that part so i'll see you when i get home because i want to talk to you guys about something else So hi everyone, I was actually supposed to record once I got home, but when I got home, it started raining really badly, and so I couldn't record, but, okay, so it's early in the morning, very early, it's like 5.39 a.m. right now, and my daughter just went to school, and I wanted to address something. This issue actually didn't happen on this channel, it happened on my daughter's channel, Just Eniola, and if you want to see the video where it happened and everything, you can click over there i believe there yeah so um my daughter did a video on unpopular opinion and in one of those in what she was saying she mentioned that she didn't like k-pop music i myself i'm like what in the world is k-pop music but my niece studios angie and uh, she has a channel on this chain on this platform um she likes k-pop so i kind of had an idea what k-pop is but I'm not into that genre of music or genre of music or whatever you might call it. So my daughter wrote, uh, um, mentioned that she didn't like K-pop music because she didn't understand what they were saying and all that stuff. And someone wrote a comment, yeah, um, and I addressed the comment. You can go and read the comment. You can go and read what I wrote in there. But I also wanted to mention it on this platform so that people will have a better understanding on what what is. Okay. So the person mentioned here. And I'm not going to read the old comment that the person wrote because it was quite long. But the, one of the key things that the person wrote was that, um, yeah, it said, um, I would like to stay, well, I think they want to say, say, say this is 
you being um, xenophobic, no offense, but watch your mouth, kid. It is still your choice. Okay, so I have two offenses. There is one, calling my daughter a xenophobic, and two, telling my daughter to watch her mouth. Okay, freedom of speech. One thing is that my kids are quite... Um, polite and they kind of when they talk they talk from their heart and you guys would know and i'm going to first address the issue of xenophobic which i've responded to the young lady or your or older lady or whoever she is or man or whatever i don't know because the name is it's a name that you can't really tell if it's a man or a woman sometimes because men can also bear that name in some minute issue ways but one thing is this if you guys know what's going on in the news right now all about about sinophobic and all that stuff um sinophobia and um this is something that is going on especially in south africa where people are um doing bad things to nigerians to foreigners to people from other parts and if you don't know what sinophobia is or sinophobic is i'm gonna just let me just google it but i know that from my own ex my own understanding of what sinophobic is, sinophobic. Let me show you. Okay, sinophobia or whatever. Okay, so sinophobia. I'm reading out of my phone. Um, sinophobia is the fear of hatred of that which is perceived to be foreign or straight, or strange. Sinophobia can involve perception of the in group towards an out group and can manifest suspicious activities eliminating their presence okay eliminating their presence to secure a presumed purity and may relate to a fear of losing nationality ethnic or racial identity now i want to highlight that eliminating exempting removal national racial identity when you call someone a xenophobia xenophobic person or say somebody is xenophobic it is not you cannot use that instance when it comes to genre of music when it comes to music if i don't like i don't like country music i don't like country music does that mean that i have xenophobia towards people that are that like that i'm um, saying country music no i don't want to eliminate them i don't want to get rid of them this is not the German Jewish shameless list process. No, I don't want to do any of that. But I want you to understand that number one, my child is not xenophobic. <laughs> but she just doesn't like the music. You have a freedom of speech. Yes, you just don't like the music. My daughter just doesn't like the music. So I'm not just liking the music doesn't make a xenophobic person. Please, 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 please. Let us understand term uh, terminologies and also when things a term is popular in society right now it's not right to just be using it nilly milling don't just be using it anyhow okay be very careful and also you tell my child to watch her mouth that's like saying shut up or don't say don't express yourself i'm a i i, I express myself i'm a believer of free expression if she doesn't like something she doesn't like it and it's the title of the video that she did was unpopular um, opinion or something of that sort and I after she did the video I okay the video okay and I look at the comments and I read the comments and I responded back to whichever comments and she can respond if she wants so I just want to bring that out there to people especially children when you hear a term um, don't be careful how you use the term because it can be very hurtful you know calling my daughter someone that is xenophobic oh my goodness that's extreme there that's extreme so please 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 um you guys go watch the video uh i put the link and click on the cards go watch the video and um just let me know your thoughts on this because we need to stand up usually you know i won't respond i won't do a video respond i'm not i'm not into drama but this <laughs> i'm a mother hen huh you know i come from my kid you know i don't want anybody stepping on them so anyway that's what i want to talk about in this video i hope you guys have a wonderful day and take care Bye.